Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, Hello good evening. Good evening. Hello. Very well. Hi, everyone. Hi, we were listening to a hello, hello there to a little girl. <laughs> Escuchamos una chiquitina y no sé de quién era. Ah, uh, my son. Ah, it's a, it's a boy. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was saying hello, good evening. <laughs> Está aprendiendo. No, but that's good. It's good that she's yeah. learning. That he es is learning. Palabras. <laughs> no, it's very good. I am going to fix my camera because I don't know what's happening with it. But uh, let me see. I think it's going to work right now. Well, how was your day, my dear students? Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Did you have the opportunity to finish the homework? Yes. Okay, so we are going to check it in a second. Let me just fix everything here. And I think I'm done. Okay, so welcome everybody. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to have you in another class. Today is our class number 10. It's pretty awesome that 10 days have passed already. Imagine it has been, everything has been so quickly. Well, I think it's going to work now. Yes, it works. Well, so uh, today we're going to be working on section number three. We're going to finish it. And sections number four and five are the ones that are a little bit more challenging. So we're going to be uh, working a lot on those sections on the last days of our module. We are going to finish the module on March 22nd. El 22 de marzo terminamos. So we need to do our best effort. Yeah, it's like, oh my God, el qué? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Ana. It's a pleasure to have you here. But I, uh, I know that you are doing a great effort uh, studying and practicing and working in every single thing that we are doing. Hello, Mr. Elmer, Evelyn, Josue, Cesar, Mr. Carlos, Julio, Elba, and Ingris. It's a pleasure to see you Hello. in another class. Well, yesterday, what were we studying yesterday? ¿De qué se acuerdan de la clase de ayer? Uh, Which are about the Prepositions. The prepositions of place and also the places in town, right? We were working on the places in town and the prepositions of place. Do you remember examples of the places in town? Examples of places in town. Park. The park. What barber else? Shop, hotel, the barbershop, the hotel, the discotheque. I sent you the complete list. Me gusta su forma de pupusas okay. place. <laughs> Sorry? The pupusas place, right? The pupusas place. Very good. Bakery. The bakery. Restaurant. The pet shop. The restaurant. Very police nice. Station. The police the station. The drugstore. Excellent. The beauty salon. The beauty salon, right? Excellent. So laundromat. the laundromat, right? The laundromat. The laundromat. laundromat. The laundromat is a place where you can go and wash your clothes. Well, very good. Prepositions of place. What prepositions of place do you remember? Across from. Across from. Across from. On. 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 What other preposition yeah. do you remember? By the near. Behind. Behind. Near, right? By. By. Yes, as by. we were saying that the library is by the hospital. Like <laughs> en el camino al hospital, ahí queda la librería. The library is by the hospital. Very good. 
So that's what we were studying yesterday. And uh, in order, something very important when we use the places in town. ¿Qué era el tip importante que les dije que no se les tenía que olvidar? Ocupar, ¿qué? Cuando estamos dando las direcciones. Ah, hay una cosa que les dije, eso es bien importante, no se les olvide ocuparlo. Ya ven, es como cuando su mamá le decía, guárdalo, no se te va a olvidar dónde. You don't remember anything. Maybe the avenues are vertical. Oh, but that's good that the avenues are like this and the streets are horizontal. Yeah, that's good. That's one. But there was another one that was very important that I that told use the verb to be. Yes, that we use the verb to be, but there is another one that it's more important. Use you... uh -huh. is. Yes. Is. Yes, <laughs> there is something that it's more important. <laughs> That you used to say, hospital behind cinema. And I said, no, 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 no. The, mm -hmm. the hospital is near or behind or next to or across of to cinema. Okay. The use of that. When you say the, the hospital that. is next to the hotel, right? That you used to say a uh, hotel uh, behind cinema no right and i told you that's like the little indians right yo querer comida no you say the hospital is behind the cinema and uh, that makes a complete sentence right and for sure you have the place the verb the preposition and the other place the hotel is next to the barber shop for example and you have complete sentences. Remember that prepositions like, and I am going to write this one because this is very important. Prepositions like, next to, right? They are two words, next to. And when you have also across from, right? You have to use the two words together, across from. And when you say on the corner of, on the corner of, on the corner of the market, on the corner of Fifth and Main Avenue, right? But these words are complete. Don't say this one, for example, because it, this is a very common mistake. The hospital is next the cinema. Right, que nos comemos el to, nos comemos el from, o nos comemos el of. It's a very common mistake. Yo creo que en mis 18 años de, de docencia lo he visto como unas mil veces. That's a very common mistake, right? Next to, next to, across from, right? On the corner of. Use the complete words. That is very, very, very necessary and very important at the moment of writing. And also at the moment of speaking. Don't uh, eat words when you are speaking. Read everything correct and complete, okay? Uh, teacher. Yes? The structure about this sentence is the first plus place uh -huh. plus verb to be. Yes. Plus preposition plus... Uh, the other place. The? Uh -huh. And the other place. The other place. Yes, that is the form that you use for these type of sentences, right? Okay. On the, here I have it on the board. Let me just continue here. Here you are going to have, for example, you have, you have the garage or the car wash, let's say the car wash is <ríe> Qué curioso, acabo de oír el pan pasar por una de sus casas y acaba de pasar enfrente de la mía. <ríe> A lo mejor somos vecinos. The car wash is in front of the garage. Ok, the car wash is in front of the garage. And in here, as you can see, you have the word da, the place, the verb to be, preposition, and the other place. Ok. If we follow this example, si seguimos el ejemplo que les acabo de dar, Elba, deme otro ejemplo con otra preposición y otros lugares. 
the church. The church, uh huh. Is The of uh, okay, the church is what is the preposition? On the corner of the first avenue. On the corner of First Avenue. And let's say in Apple Street. We are going to invent the name of the street, Apple Street, La Calle Manzana. That's okay. Thank you very much, Elba. Very good. Mr. Carlos, can you give me another example with other places and another preposition? The, the, the so. The zoo. The zoo is between. 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 Uh -huh. The zoo okay, is between. The the Washington Street. Okay, when you say the zoo is between, you have to use two places. O a menos que el zoológico abarque toda la calle. Mm. Okay, give me mm. give me your example. The zoo is between Washington Street and and the Enfor Avenue. Avenue. Okay, Enfor um, Street. Uh, let's see. Let me just give you the example here. For example, if, imagine that this is the zoo, right? Imagine that this is the zoo. And in here, right, we have the zoo here. Ta -da, the zoo. If you tell me that the zoo is between, and you tell me one street, for example, here, you have to give me the name of this avenue and this avenue. But in this case, the zoo is the complete block. El zoo abarca toda la manzana. Pero es más común que digamos, between, cuando está, with other two places next to it, here. And here maybe you have a, I don't know, maybe you can have here the school, the school and here you have okay. another the place, the bank. the bank. Let's put the bank here. I have an example of calles. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. The school is begging behind, to the library. Okay, the school is behind the library. Very good. To the, the school library. is behind, behind the library. Okay, behind to the library is not possible. You say behind the library, just that. The school is behind the library. So, and if we finish the sentence about the zoo, you say the zoo is between the and you have the school and and the bank, right? The zoo is between the school and the bank because it's in the middle. Good. Another example, Mr. Julio, can you help me with one example? Sorry, uh, the, the hospital across from, is across from the clinic, for example. Very good. The hospital is across from the clinic. Okay, the hospital is across from the clinic. Excellent example, very good job. So as you can see here, this is the structure that we use. This is the form that we use for us to complete sentences, right? The only thing that you need to keep in mind is not to eat the words and not to add extra words and not to use the prepositions in the incorrect form. But for the rest, it is very easy to follow the examples, okay? With the places in town. Any question about this? Todavía se nos queda alguna pregunta o podemos dar por cerrado el uso de las, eh, de las formas de escritura de los lugares de la ciudad. If you still have questions, there is no problem, right? We were working on that one yesterday and this is what we did, what I asked you to do, right? Did you have the opportunity to create your city? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to ask uh, different people in the class and we are going to write, for example, we are going to write names 
on the different places that we have here. Give me one name for this space. We are going to write a name for this space. Here, I have, I am going to use this one. Okay, I am going to use it here. I made a mistake there, but that's okay. Here I go. And we are going to use it here. Okay, what was the first place that you had here? Gas station. The gas station, good. Okay, we had the gas station here. Okay, and we're going to add some others, right? The gas station, the gas station, good. Next to this, what did you have? A park. The park, okay, we have the park. We're going to put the park here. I moved everything. <laughs> Sorry. I need more practice on this designing things. Que teman los diseñadores porque ya ven, ya llegué yo con mis cuadritos. The park. Another one. What other place do you have? I am going to use this one spare. Fire station. The fire station. Okay, you have the fire station. Any other one? Japan Japan food. The what? Japan food. Japanese food. But that would be a, that would be a the Japanese restaurant. 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 Right? restaurant. That would be a Japanese restaurant, right? A Japanese restaurant. Because if you say Japan food, it's like comida Japon, it's be like what? Japanese restaurant, right? Another one. What is another place that you have there? Ice cream oh. shop. An ice cream yes. shop. Okay, good. An ice cream shop. An ice cream shop. Another one. Radio station. The radio station, right? The radio station. Okay. Very good. Another one. We're going bakery. to add. We're going to add just a few more. The bakery, right? It's a very important thing in the city, right? The bakery, right? You need the bakery. Another one. University. Coffee. Okay, the university maybe is here in the middle of the town. No. Everything is the university here because it's very big. The university. What is another one? Barber shop. The barber shop. Very good. The barber shop. And we are going to need three more. The barber shop. Give me another one. Uh, high school. The high <laughs> school. Okay, the high school is going to be another big, big one. The high school. <laughs> Next to university, um, soccer field. The soccer field, right? And it's a big one. Okay, maybe we are going to have a sports place here. We are going to have a sports place because it's going to be something big. And I need one to finish the top here. What other thing can we have on this section of the city? Which one, Jenny? Museum. Bank. <laughs> church. The church, right? Nuestra ciudad necesita una iglesia. The church, the museum, and the bank. Mm -hmm. The museum. We need a hospital. supermarket and a hospital for sure. We need a bank. We need a hospital. That's You see, we need many things on the city. <laughs> the hospital. We are going to we are going to put the drugs. Gas station. A gas See? station. Hey, but we have a gas station. Ah, bus no, station. Taxi. Taxi. A taxi station. Taxi station. Yeah. Aquí solo andamos en taxi. Aquí no hay buses. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> store. And here we have also. We are rich. Yeah, for sure. It's our city. Anyway, <laughs> a taxi station. <laughs> a taxi station. Very good. And also, we need we need a theater. A theater, yeah, for sure, because we are very fancy. A theater. Bank. And we have a bank on the corner. 
we have theater, the drugstore, the clinic. Oh. Pharmacy. In, in May, maybe need, we need a, a dental clinic. Yeah, we need a dental clinic for sure. Cool. We need a dental clinic. And don't forget a swimming pool. Hey, the swimming pool. Yeah, because we love to swim. And ah, maybe maybe we can have a club. So you can go swimming and you can go meeting your a friends club. and everything. Club. A club. Yeah. I think we have enough places in our fancy city. This is going to be called, it's not our city. This is called, okay, I am going to call it fancy city. The fancy city because it's rich. Only rich people live there. Que los sueños ni que nada. This is the fancy city. <laughs> I <Yeah>. live there. <laughs> In the fancy city. Let's put the names on the streets. What are the names of the streets? Uh... Sakura Street. Sakura. The Hero Street. The, the Hero Street, Sakura is like Sakura Car Captain. Oh, I love it. Sakura Street. And here we have, we're going to write it in a different color. We're going to have it in black. And Hero Street. Jefferson Avenue. Okay, and Jefferson Avenue. Yeah. It is very common that the avenues are just with numbers. Yeah. Yeah, aquí en El Salvador es que Avenida España, Avenida no sé qué, Avenida no sé qué. But it is very common that the avenues have, for example, first, second, third, fourth avenue, that they have numbers. So in this one, we're going to have first avenue and second avenue. Second avenue. Yes, aquí como Miami. <laughs> first avenue and second avenue. Okay, so. If I tell you, Mr. Eduardo, we are in Fancy City today. Can you tell me where the museum is? Museum. Uh, oh. The museum um, is on Sakura Street in front of Sport Place. In, uh -huh. The museum is on Sakura Street. In front of Sport Place. In front of the Sport Place. Good. Very good. Next. Uh -huh. Hey, I move everything. Ah, I don't know what. Next to Barbershop. Next to the Barbershop. Good. Let me just organize it's everything. Right. Yes. You position, you position is the position this, this answer question. No. Wait, 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 because I move everything. I don't know what did I do, but I, I ruined the map. Yes, let me see. I don't know what did I do because I ruined everything. Ish. See, no, well, it's almost there. I think it's, it's almost there. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So what was your question? Is you... The position I am um, is the answer. What's up? What's up? Position. Uh, uh, I, okay. Well, he, si usted coloca donde una marca y que de ahí digamos donde está. Ah, very good, very good, excellent. So I am here in the high school, right? I am here in the high school. This is Teacher Nati here in the high school, right? I am here. I am here. So if I want to go, for example, this is the topic for today. If I want to go to the museum, I have to go, for example, here, and you can say walk on Hero Street and then turn left for one block and you get to the museum, right? This is the topic for today. When you give directions to people, we are going to come back in this one later. A este vamos a volver otro ratito. Ahorita vamos a dar las ubicaciones con las diferentes preposiciones, okay? And then we are going to give directions to different people. But it's a very good uh, observation. It's a very good observation, Mr. Um, Joaquin. Here, I erase the museum. 
there you go, the museum. Okay, so we said that the museum is on the corner of Sakura Street and 2nd Avenue next to the church and across from the sports place and across from the barber shop. If I talk about the taxi station, where is the taxi station? Where is the taxi, the taxi station? Uh -huh. The taxi station is a, uh, a corner it's of- On the corner Fifth, of? On the corner of Fifth Avenue and Hero Street. Very good. Next to or across from? Street. Next from. to the theater. Next to the theater. Next to the theater. Okay. So that's what I need you to do. Necesito que escojan. Una, uno de los lugares y que me den una posición tan exacta que ni el más perdido se pueda perder. Ok, for example, for example, the barber shop, the barber shop is on Sakura Street next to the radio station across from the university and across from the museum. So I give you all the details about the barber shop. The barber shop is on Sakura Street next to the radio station, across from the university and across from the museum, on the corner of Sakura Street and 2nd Avenue. I gave you all the details, all the possible details. Me tienen que dar todos los detalles posibles de ese lugar al que vamos. Escojan uno, nada más. High school. Okay. High school is in 1st Avenue. On first Avenue. First, uh, sería across from university. Across from the university, uh -huh. Be Between Japanese restaurant and drugstore. <coughs> there you go, right? The high school. Uh, okay, good. The high school is on First Avenue, across from the university, between the Japanese restaurant and the drugstore. Right? A very exact location. Excellent, Mr. Julio. Write it down. Escríbanla para que no se nos confundan ni se nos pierdan. Let's see. Who else has it? El que ya la tenga me avisa. Levanta su manita y me la da. Choose one and give me all the possible locations. Okay. The radio station is in front of the Japanese restaurant and on the corner of Sakura and a First Avenue next to the, can I say between ice cream shop and barber shop or next? No, because they are, they are, they are, they are far from each other. Yes. Yeah. So you can say next to. It's next to the barber shop or the ice cream shop very good <laughs> job <laughs> depending right but the radio station is on the corner of sakura street and first avenue next to the barber shop and across from no es in front porque in front ah. es cuando no nos tenemos que cruzar across from the japanese restaurant okay very good job another one who can give me the example quien me puede dar el siguiente ejemplo Hey, Mr. Nayib. He's in my class. <laughs> Another example. Example, example. Okay, Carlos, do you have your example? Uh, the museum across from hospital and behind church. Okay, the museum is next to, the museum is next to the hospital. Across from is cuando nos pasamos la calle. So you say the museum, the museum is next to the hospital. Okay, okay. Uh, next to hospital and behind be behind be behind behind church the church right the museum is next to the hospital and behind the church excellent very good job 
so, so. Or you can say, no, it's okay. But make the corrections in your notebook, okay? Siempre que les hago una corrección, corríjanlo en su cuaderno para que se recuerden de que eh, ahí corregimos el error y ya no lo vamos a volver a hacer. The next one, English, uh -huh. go ahead. The museum is next to the church. Okay. Opposite the barber shop on the corner, opposite the bankery. Okay, very good. Listen, the museum is next to the church. That's good. Opposite the barber shop, it's fantastic. You use a new preposition. That's very good. Opposite is that they are one in front of the other one, right? Opposite. Opposite the barber shop. On the corner of, right, en la esquina de Sakura and Second Avenue. Good, English, very good. Nice preposition. You use a new preposition. Very good job. Another example. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, the clinic is on here street and Second Avenue, next to the club, in front sport place. Very good. Well, across from, across from. Across from, uh, or across from the sport place. place. Very good job. The clinic is on your street, across from the theater and across from the sports place on the corner of Hero Street and Second Avenue. Very good job. Excellent. Jorge, very good. Another one. Another volunteer. Que no le dé pena, vamos, practique. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Dental clinic. Hi, teacher. Hey, wait, wait. Go, 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 Elba. Dental clinic on the first avenue next to the drugstore and after from safety. Very good job, Elba. Fantastic sentence. Very nice. The dental clinic is next to the drugstore on First Avenue, across from the taxi station. Fantastic job, Mr. Joaquin, go ahead. I, I go the first station. Okay, the fire station, good. Uh, the first avenue, next Japan restaurant, from ice cream shop. Okay. Let's create that sentence. Y la vamos a hacer para todos. Here, we have the fire station, right? The fire station is on First Avenue. It's on First Avenue next to the Japanese restaurant. Next to the Japanese restaurant. And across from the ice cream shop. Okay. The fire station is on First Avenue next to the Japanese restaurant and across from the ice cream shop. Okay. Good. So copy the sentence and fix it. And I need one more volunteer. One more Me. volunteer. Go ahead, Mr. Eduardo. Japanese restaurant. The Japanese is restaurant. On, is on the corner of Sakura Street and First Avenue. It's next to the park. It's across from radio station. And it's across from high school. It's okay. behind the fire station. Okay, across from the radio station and across from the high school, right? Okay, okay. remember to use that before the place. Excellent definition of the Japanese restaurant. You see, important, no nos comamos la palabra da, right? The Japanese restaurant, the radio station, the high school, and the order of the prepositions is important. Now, who can tell me where the theater is? Where is the theater? It's on Second Avenue is on the corner next the to the taxi station. Avenue. Okay, the theater is on the corner of Second Avenue and here and here street next to the taxi station, across from across from the clinic and the university. 
university. university. Across from the clinic and across from the university. Very good job. Where is the bank? The bank is the Sakura bank? Street. Uh -huh. Well, the Sakura bank Street. is on Sakura uh, Street. The bank oh, next bank hospital. To... Next to. to next to the very good the behind, behind the church behind uh, the next, church um the next to hospital the bank is behind the church and next to the hospital because we don't have a street right? next to next to Church? Next to the church, right? Um, it can be also next to the church. And there's the bank, right? That's the bank. And let me see the last example. Where is the bakery? Where's the bakery? The bakery is, the bakery is on Second uh, Avenue. Next to, next to the barber next, shop uh, across, barber across, across the from the church. Very good. Jenny, can you tell me where the bakery is? It's on Second Avenue. Uh -huh. In front of the church. It is on Second Avenue in front of the church or across from the church? The barber shop. Next to the barber shop, okay? <clears throat> Very good job, my dear students, when creating the different sentences, right? Very excellent job. The one that you did, we are going to use the picture in a second, right? We're going to go back to the map in a moment. So this is the way that you create sentences with uh, the places in the town, right? You have to be very organized at the moment of expressing where a place is, right? And for sure, by telling the exact location of a place. We are going to use the map later when we come back to the, uh, to the places in town. Now, I am going to explain a little about how do you move around the city, right? I have the map ready for later. When you move around the city, right, you can use sentences with there is and there are. And you say, in our city, there is a bank, there are three schools, and there is a church. For this one, is for you to express what places do you have in the city. If we go back to our city, we can say, in fancy city, there is a church, there is a hospital, there is a barber shop and there is a taxi station, right? What else is there in the city? There is what? A drugstore. There is a drugstore. A dental clinic. A dental clinic. A clinic. A clinic, good. A bank. A bank, right? There is a bank, there is a church, there is a hospital, there is a museum. But what happens, for example, if, and I am going to make this example here, what happens if here I have another bank and here I have another clinic? So you will in, say, uh -huh. in our city, there are two banks. Very bank. good. In the city, there are two banks. And, and there, there are, are two clinics. There are two clinics. Two clinics. Right? There is one university and one high school. Right? In that case, it's when we create sentences with there is and there are. What happens with the other form of the sentences that we were using? We were using the forms of the prepositions, right? This is the other form that we were practicing. The school is next to the bank. Ahí podemos expresar los lugares que tenemos en la ciudad, pero con locaciones exactas. ¿Por qué? Porque eso es lo que hacen las preposiciones. Dar la locación exacta del lugar. The church is across from the hotel. And we can say, for example, here, the church is across from the bakery. Okay, se acaba la misa y vamos a comprar pancito. Sí. Y después vamos al museo. Y después vamos al museo. Y después nos cortamos el pelo. Yeah. And then we go to the radio station and to the Japanese restaurant. So, 
Uh, when you use the phrases with there is and there are, there is a church in the city. And with the preposition, the church is across from the bakery. And you give exact locations to that. Now, uh -huh. do you have okay. a question? Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you repeat uh, the there are and there is because I didn't listen to you. Good. Yeah. Okay. In this one, when you use there is and there are, you give general information about the city and the places that you have next to the city. When or, we use the are uh, and there is. Yes, that is in general. Okay, in Just general. to say, eh, hay, una, hay una escuela, hay un banco, hay un super, etc. Right? Mm -hmm. And with the prepositions, you give the exact location of okay. something. Now, I need you to take your homework. Todos, a ver, saquen su tarea. No sé en qué la hicieron, si hicieron un papel, en la computadora, en una página. Ah, what a beautiful map. Look at Jenny's map. Wow. Oh, look at Eduardo. Good. Wow, beautiful homework, my God. Now, I need you to look at your map. And I need you to give me sentences with there is and there are. Give me one sentence with there is, one sentence with there are. Using the places of your map. Using the places of your map. Give me one sentence with there is and one sentence with there are. Elba, ¿tenemos la tarea? In my homework, uh, there is a church. There is a church. Uh -huh. What else? Cathedral. Okay, there is a cathedral. <laughs> there uh -huh. you go. You have it there. <laughs> Fantastic. There you have the cathedral. You see? Very uh -huh. good. There is a um, lawyer office. A lawyer's office, uh huh. A Catholic bookstore. Hey, good. In the center of Santa Ana. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why I, I imagine. <laughs> imagine. Yeah, you have the cathedral, um, the stores, um, but you need to have the, the. There are two parks. Two parks. And what is the name of the very famous pizza that is next to the cathedral? Inayam restaurant. Ah, yeah, the Inayam restaurant. Yes. Inayam no nos paga nada por esta This is here. Yeah, you see, you have it there. Fantastic. <laughs> very good. I know Santa Ana very, very, very well. Thank you, Jenny. Very good job. Now, uh, let me see. Mr. Eduardo, give me examples from your map. Uh, in my city, there is a park and there are two schools. Excellent. One with there is and one with there are. Anna, give me examples from your map. In my, in my city, there, are, there is a restaurant, mm -hmm. there is a pet shop, and there is a swimming pool, and also there are a hotel. There is a hotel. Hotel, hotel, a bakery, there is a park, and there are a police stations. Okay, there are police stations. Good. Evelyn, give me examples from your map. In my city is is. <clears throat> there is uh, there is a stage a station taxi there is a taxi station a supermarket pharmacy but butcher shop a butcher shop uh -huh. restaurant pizza hut a in pizza the restaurant uh -huh. A uh, bank, a uh, hospital, 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 and church. Okay, very good. Remember to use the phrases, right? There is a bank, there is a hospital, there is a church, right? That is the form of the sentence. Excellent okay. job. Let's see. I am going to choose another one. Cesar, can you give me examples from your map?
Mr. César Montesino. César Montesino. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Se lo solicita en recepción. Can you give me one example from your map? With there is or there are? Ok, vamos a ver si lo puedo hacer. What there is are two. Um, de, de la iglesia, voy a hacer ejemplo. Ok. There is a. What there is. Are, there is. Is a sure. Um, um, from my house. Ok. There is a church. There is a church in front there, of my house. There, there is, is a church. A church in front of my house. In front of my house. Very good job. You see that you can do it. Mr. Carlos, give me one example from your map. In my city, there is a iPhone. There are two gas stations. There is a study. Very good. There is an airport, right? There is an airport. That's the only correction. Mr. Elmer, give me examples of your city. Um, uh, in my city, there is a museum. There are four, four schools. There are two gas stations. There is a hospital. Very nice sentences. Excellent job, Mr. Elmer. Julio, can you give me examples of your map? Uh, in my city, there is a park, hotel, barber shop, clinic, um, discotheque, and um, there are two police stations. Good, there are two police stations. Very nice. Miss Ingris, go ahead from your map. There, there is is a school. There is, is there a school. Uh -huh. There is bakery. There is a school and there is a bakery. Very good. Excellent. Josu Alexander, give me one example from your map. Mr. Josu Alexander. Póngale pausa a la cadena nacional. Mr. Josué. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's watching the president. Or I think it's it finished. Uh, who am I missing? Mr. Jorge, give me one example from your homework. In my city, there is a bank, a school, a park, and the market. Very excellent sentence. There are two pupusas places and two drugstores. Very good. Important. There are two pupusas places. <laughs> Very good. Uh, am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien? No digan. Ah, sí, no me dijo. Sí. Ajá, no, no se alegren porque no les pregunte. Ajá. Chun, chun, chun. Who am I missing? Elba. Me dijo sus lugares. Sí, vea. Ah. <laughs> you see? Go ahead. Give me one example from your city. Ya casi se escapaba, pero no. In my city, there is a bakery. Uh -huh. There is a supermarket. There are two banks. There are pupusas place. There are two pupusas place. Um, dental clinic. There is a there dental is a dental clinic. And there is a dental clinic. Did you see Carlos homework on the chat? It is very beautiful. <laughs> I really like it. It's very colorful and detailed. Very nice job. Thank you students for the great examples you were sharing with uh, your maps. This helps you to remember the vocabulary, the structures, the places and the prepositions, right? Here, I have a question. Do we have any popular tourist attraction in El Salvador? Do we have any popular tourist attraction here in the country? Yes, uh, teacher, how do you say Ruta de las Flores? Ah, well, 
<laughs> well, yeah. the, the Ruta de las Flores, it's the name of the place. So the name doesn't change. Here we are going to go to the flowers route or to the Ruta de las Flores, right? To Ruta de las Flores. Okay. okay, Planet de Renderos. If I ask you the question, where is Ruta de las Flores? In yes. La Unión. In Sonsonate. In Sonsonate. Where Marcos. is Planes de Renderos? In Santa Ana, right? Also. Where is Planes de Renderos? In Rosario de Mora. In Rosario de Mora. Let me see. Where is Joya de Seren? Es este... In La Libertad. In La Libertad, right? It's in La Libertad. Do we have any popular tourist attraction similar to the Pyramid of the Sun? Yes, the Tazumal. The Tazumal, yay! In my beautiful Chalchuapa. I love Chalchuapa. Yes, I live in Chalchuapa. Really? Yes. I am from Chalchuapa. <laughs> oh my God. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, I don't live in Chalchuapa, but I, I well, yes. I live and I don't live there. Ingrid, where do you live? San Miguel. In San Miguel. Oh my God. Si yo, si yo tengo calor, no me imagino usted. <laughs> hey, Elmer. Later on, I am going to ask you. Después le pregunto por dónde vive. <laughs> Good. Y éramos vecinos ahí en Chachop y no sabíamos. Pueda, pueda. Yeah, we never know. <laughs> Excellent. De Tazumal, right? El Tazumal, Joya de Serén, Casablanca, right? They are very popular tourist attractions from our country. What is the most, like the top attraction of El Salvador for tourists? Beach Icaca? The beach. Surf city. The surf city, right? Well, in general, all the beach, right? All the different beach that we have in our country are a popular tourist attraction for tourists. The most popular for the country in August or in Holy Week is El Mahawal. Everybody goes to El Mahawal. I don't know why. My God, tenemos como 100 o no sé cuántas playas. And everybody goes to El Mahawal. I don't because, know why. Because it's very cheap. It's very cheap, right? See, we have reasons. Very nice. Do we have any other popular place in Santa Ana or in Ilopango that people love to mountain. visit? The mountain, Trifinio. The mountain, right? The Trifinio. Yeah. Apulo. Apulo, Apulo, right? <laughs> the lake, Cuatepeque Lake and Ilopango Lake are very popular tourist attractions for people. And they are here in our country, right? Let me see. The center of San Salvador, it's another tourist attraction that it's very popular. And for the rich people, but it's a very popular attraction. The volcan. The what? The is Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> the pink zone, right? I am La Zona Rosa or Santa Elena. Maybe they stay in the mountains. Oh yeah, and they have they stay in the mountains there or in their private private islands. Right? Yeah. So those are the, the tourist attractions. Here in El Salvador, we also have the Cathedral of Santa Ana and the Cathedral of San Salvador that are very popular. And in San Miguel, they have the carnival that it's yeah. another very popular tourist attraction. Yes or no, Ingris? Yes. <laughs> I have visited the carnival only one time. E, like in 2010, I guess. E, hasta mentira puede ser ya. So, sí, pero ahí está. Yo la he visto. 21 de noviembre. Yeah. Entonces so, yo tengo donde irme a quedar. Hoy. <laughs> Anoten todos en el calendario. En noviembre todos vamos a hacer excursión donde Ingrid. <laughs> Do you have space for me? Yeah, for everybody. So these are... Are you Salvador, Salvador del Mundo? Oh, yeah. The, uh, the holy savior of the world, right? El Salvador del Mundo is very popular. Por ahí trabajo yo. <laughs> yes. It is a very popular place in San Salvador, right? Si te perdes, así, andate al Salvador del Mundo. De ahí, todo está cerca. 
<laughs> en Metro Centro, right? Metro Centro, it's a very popular attraction for everybody. ¿Dónde nos vemos? En Metro. In Santa Ana, San Miguel, Lourdes, whatever, Metro Centro. Metro Centro is the top place for you to find people. But in some cases, when you have a specific locations in the city, for sure you are going to have a lot of tourists around. And this is the case of one of them. What is the name of the conversation? What is the name of the conversation? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? Queda lejos de aquí? And it says, I need you please to give a quick look to the conversation. Give a quick look to the conversation. What is the boy looking for? What is he looking for? Uh, St. Patrick Cathedral. He's what looking for that? St. Patrick's Cathedral, right? He is looking for St. Patrick's Cathedral. And where is the cathedral? 50 años? Uh, it's in 50, uh, 50th Avenue. Avenue. And 50th, uh, 50th, 50th Avenue St. Patrick. 50th on the right. Street. On the right. On the right. And it says, remember, the left and the right, su mano izquierda es left. And su mano derecha es right, con la que escribimos, right. Si es zurdo, no me hagas caso. <laughs> the left hand is eh, izquierdo. Right is derecho. Right, y si escribimos, si somos derechos, right. Ah, I write with the right. And you remember, left, right. Todavía nos cuesta, pero it's necessary. So it says, it's on Fifth Avenue and 50th Street. It's St. Patrick's is on the right. On the right. Is it near the Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is across, right across from the Rockefeller Center. And it says, thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Right, turn around and look up. It's right behind you. <clears throat> and it says, go with me in the conversation. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Can, ma can you help me? Okay, in this one, it's not like, mire, mama, ayúdeme. No, it's madame, right? <laughs> 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 and El Salvador is like, Mamayita. Mamayita, me ayuda. <laughs> no, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, it's madame, right? Madame. But it's like a contraction of this one. Madame, it's from French, right? Uh, excuse me, madame. Can you help me? Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Excuse me, ma'am. Ma Can, Can you help me? You help me? Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? How, How do, do I, I get, get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? St. Patrick's Cathedral. St. Patrick's, Patrick's Cathedral. Cathedral. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. Just, Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 5th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Is it near, it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Thank you. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. It's right behind you. Behind you. Just turn around and look up. Just turn around. Look up. Just turn around and look up. So to finish with this topic, we have different forms for you to give directions. When you say, walk up, go up. Camine recto, dele ahí derecho. 
Walk up. Dele para arriba. Walk up or go up. Turn left. Cruce. Right? Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. Or walk down or go down and turn right. It's on the left. Right? Cruce a la derecha. Lo va a ver ahí a la, a la izquierda. Cruce a la derecha. Sigue y lo va a ver ahí a la izquierda. So, but in this one, you say walk up, walk down. Siga recto o siga para arriba. Camine, no, ¿cómo es? ¿Qué dicen aquí? Suba para arriba. <laughs> walk up, walk down, right? Walk up, walk down. Eh, turn left, turn right. Like when you use uh, ways, right? Turn left, turn right, right? Here you have turn left, turn right. And it says walk up from Fifth Avenue to 50th Street, right here. And the person had to go and walk, right? To 50th Street. Walk up, walk down when you come back, right? Turn left here and turn right here, okay? I am going to send you this image for you to continue practicing. And the homework for next week, is going to be the following. I need you to investigate the verbs in past, okay? Ahí viene la diversión. Investigate the verbs in past. Yeah. Have a beautiful weekend and I'm going to see you on Monday for the next class. Bye-bye, okay. okay. my dear students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful night. Bye. 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 B